guys how are you guys doing so yeah we're back man um so on this video here the focal point is going to be hypersonic so we all know hypersonic you should know hypersonic by now if you've been subscribing and you've been watching the videos on the channel there is no way you cannot know there's no way you cannot know the thing you know you cannot know this plugin here so let's talk about it so what i'll do in this video here is i'll explain certain things about it that i feel like most of you probably wouldn't know, you know, or most of you might know about the plugin, but you don't know that it, you, you're actually capable of doing these things to it. So I'll explain that part to you guys. So let's go. Let's start. So firstly, as a plugin, you know how to open a plugin by a plugin by now. If you don't know how to do that by now, then you know, sorry, but yeah, you should. That's that should be the standard now. You should know that by now. If you don't know how to do that, go back to to, to my videos, start from scratch and and learn and teach yourself stuff but i was just jump straight to it so let's say so this is what your hypersonic plugin looks like so when you install it basically you install it like an external software double click run the exe file let it install open it on footy loops like that that's it there's nothing more to it and then these are all your packs these are all the sound packs and patches and all those different things that they are so you've got a lot of synths you've got a lot of leads and pads you've got a lot of ethnic styles, brass, you've got your orchestras, you've got your strings, you've got your guitar, you've got your bass, you got your mallets, you basically have almost every instrument that is out there, you know, that's why this plugin is probably the best, you know, this is one of the plugins that I feel like everyone should have, you need this plugin, kind of thing, so yeah, try get your hands on it, just google hypersonic, whatever, whatever, you find it, there's no way you cannot find it, don't ask me for a link, I know for a fact you'll find it online, because I've been doing that, because I've been finding it for people, but otherwise, let's get to the point. So let's talk about playing around with the sound. So firstly, to open the sound on this plugin here, these are the sounds. So I want to open a guitar, so I'll go there to a I mean, piano, so I'll go there to acoustic, acoustic pianos, and I'll choose natural grand piano. So there it is, I double click on it. I want to open the soft grand piano, double click, there it is. Concert hall grand, double click, there it is. So that's all you basically do to open the sound. There's nothing more, there's nothing less to it. That's it. And then you can change the, the volume here and there, the level of the volume up there, low, high, all which is there. Then what if you want to open, what if you want to use this sound here, your concert whole grand piano, with maybe uh, some strings. You know, what if you want to use it with strings? So you want to use it with these set of strings there. So you just go from there, you just click on the next thing here, the next horizontal slot and you choose the type of string you want so you have these strings here so, okay so that's so that's the whole grand piano there so okay yeah before i explain the strings i'll explain something so how do you link so you you've opened up this one here and you've opened up these two sounds and the next sound that you want to link it with and you want them to play together at the same time but how do you link them together that's why i have this this word here which says link so you probably confused like okay yeah, but then what do i do from there so basically all you do from there is you just look at these arrows and you just click on the arrow like that. So that's all you do, you just click on the arrow and that basically says, listen, I want to link this sound here with this one. And that's all it is. So when you play it now, it's going to be and link them, link the two sounds, add an extra sound, maybe you want to add something, you know, I don't care what you do. But you know, people do different things, so do whatever. So we wanna take that down, take the strings down a bit, and the guitar must be higher. You wanna mute that and just play these two together. Yeah, so that's how you link the two sides, that's how you link different sounds together. That's how you basically use, you know, hypersonic, the basics of hypersonic. So let's talk about where oh yeah, I right click, delete to remove the sound like that. And also you just click on the arrow like that to unlink the sound. Then let's talk about adding effects. Let's talk about what if you want to add some delay to your sound? What if you want to do something to your sound? So, well, let's start off here. I don't know what this does. I've never really came about to plan out these things here, but I'll explain to you from what I do know. So you go to the sound that you want to add effects on. So this is the sound you want to add effects on. You want to add effects to your concert hall grand piano. So the first thing you do is you go to your mix 
you go to your mix like that you know you go to your edit i mean go to your edit and you choose effect so you see the two effects the effects there are two types of effects already is this one here and this one fx basically stands for effects everybody should know that by now so you have your chorus which is already added for you and you have your whole reverb which is already added for you so you have those two so maybe what if you want to add delay to it so what if you want to add a delay to your to your to your piano what do you do then then you go to your effects slot there effects slot there and you click on it like that so when you click on it what you what you notice notice is you see you have if fx1 and fx2 you see that the borders for fx1 and fx2 are actually highlighted don't mind the fact that this one is clicked whatever they actually highlighted they're brighter than these ones here so what that means is that these two slots here have effects on them you see and those two effects are which ones they these two here that's what that means so what if you want to add a third effect so then you have to click on fx3 click on fx3 like that you see what happens so you click on fx3 you click there to turn it on it's on now it's off turn it on it's on and then how why do you add the effect well the effect is here it seems like an empty space but it's there so you click like that and you get these things that pop up in the excuse me so we wanted to add a delay so you just click on delay like that and there's a whole new stuff for delay for you you can start altering the feedback and all those things there put on 70 put on 70 and do all those things there and you just get the delay the way you want it to be so once you've done that you then have to so basically what you've done is you've, you've added the effect to this but the volume for the effect is still low for the thing that's why you can't hear the effect right but let's go to mix now you see on mix now what you notice is that the only effect that is actually applied and that is used is fx1 because why because the volume for it is actually up you see so fx2 and fx3 they there but they're not applied type of thing so you need to increase the volume basically so that you can hear the 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 the, the, the effects presence basically so that's what you're doing so you're increasing the volume so you just click and drag upwards like that and then okay i don't know what's happening oh whatever Mm, let me see what am I doing wrong. Okay, there's something I'm doing wrong. I don't know what it is that I'm doing wrong, but that's how you add effects. I'm pretty sure that is how you add effects. Okay. Let's see, let me try find stuff. Okay, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing wrong now. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why I stopped work. Wait, let me see. Effects one, effects two. Chorus and here. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, cool. So we come here, I change this here from this to a delay. Let's go this man. I don't know what's happening. Okay, there actually is a bit of delay, you just can't hear it. Stupid me, but anyway, okay, let's do this. Oh yeah, there it is. Listen, oh yeah, you see? On off um so yeah at least you finally got it in the end but basically yeah that's what happens the reason why okay this is this is not a fact i don't know what i did wrong i'm not going to lie to you that's how you add effects but i'm assuming that the reason why it wasn't really applicable is because you see it automatically aligned the, the, the third effect here but that's at the same time on on this large here what you have is you actually have a, a thing you, you had a reverb on it of which the reverb wasn't being used and how do you know that, that the reverb wasn't being used is because the volume for effect two was low so effect number two is this one here this effects number one effect number two there it is but it was low see it's, it's off so you just added effect three to it and you increase the volume type of thing 
that's what I believe is a, what's, what's wrong. I don't know. But point being, that's how you do add effects. You can figure out how to actually go about and getting it correctly. Otherwise, yeah, man, I'm teaching you what I know. At least you guys get to actually witness for once that I actually do not know what I teach you guys. Well, not fully at least. I know what I'm teaching, but not not I'm not a master at it, you know. So I also make mistake. I'm, mistakes. I'm prone to mistakes too. So that's how you do that. Then you can just play around with it and learn, you know, and figure out exactly how to do it. And when you do find out how to do it properly and on point, then you can teach me back and tell me, okay, this is how you actually do it. So that's what I want to teach you guys. And then, yeah, there's nothing else to it. I mean, like, well, there's nothing more that I know personally. I can only teach you what I know, and I, that's all I know for now. But there's a whole lot of other stuff here which you can actually play around with and, and use. So just this thing here, use it. Just check this thing out and try to use it. This year also moves around, it's not static. So play around with the things, you know, just figure things out and just play. But that was yeah man, like, subscribe, comment, Facebook, Twitter. Hopefully this this tutorial was actually useful to you guys. Shep shep of it.